and welcome to 2020. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about 2019 and how important a year it was for us at Metabolism of Cities. 2019 was a great year with so many projects and so many things that happened that it's actually very difficult to remember. And that's why I have noted them all down here on my computer. I'll try to go piece by piece to try to explain what we've been through uh, and where we're going in 2020. The first significant thing that happened in 2019 was the redesign of our website and of our logo. That was a very hard process for us to decide uh, amongst all of us what is the best design we could get, uh, not only for the logo but also for the website. We had to restructure many of the previous aspects, but we also added many new things. You can now find an updated um, list of projects, list of articles, list of authors. We had to rethink everything in our minds, but also we have a very exciting new feature which is called Multiplicity. Multiplicity is now something that we have in our website, which is an urban metabolism dashboard. So any of you can uh, sign up, um, add your data sets there and visualize them for any city in the world. Another very exciting project we have been doing over the 2019 was the Global Seminar on Urban Metabolism. In this seminar series that took place in three uh, places in the planet, so Cape Town, Beijing and Brussels. Um, it was a one-day seminar and every time we tried to have um, urban metabolism meets policy and practice. We wanted to know how um, this academic, mostly academic field, can benefit and can be implemented in policy and practice. So we had three very different um, contexts and three very different seminars with uh, different audiences as well. We were extremely uh, happy, for instance, to go in Cape Town and to figure out how uh, the city has multiple crises where uh, you might know the water crisis, well, it's very much connected with the waste crisis. Um, we also went to Beijing uh, where we figured out that it's actually very hard to, to talk about urban metabolism in these um, extremely um, growing uh, cities and you have to think about all of the challenges simultaneously. And then we went back to Brussels, uh, where we had the last of the, the three seminars, uh, where Brussels, let's say, it's a, a more mature case study where uh, there has been a lot of work on urban metabolism. We wanted to reflect whether urban metabolism has contributed to any change and also how it has been used in policy and practice. Another exciting development was the launch of the Metabolism of Islands uh, website. Well, um, it's been in the works for uh, since 2018, uh, where um, we collaborated with uh, Simran Singh, um, an associate professor in, at the University of Waterloo in Canada. And uh, we uh, are actually just changing the scale because uh, islands are actually extremely relevant as laboratories for um, metabolism studies because they, they have a physical boundary and so we have uh, developed a sister website which is now available called Metabolism of Islands um, with another community that is behind it. In our dreams for 2020 uh, we're continuing with um, something else that's called Pat uh, Platform U uh, which is very much focused on companies so we'd like to do this metabolism of companies and who knows perhaps metabolism of countries or regions in order to have all of the, the scales uh, that we could somehow nest and have data flowing in every direction. Perhaps last but definitely not least the the biggest project that we have uh, actually carried out and are carrying out right now is the city loops project so it's a eu h2020 funded project where we will be developing a um, sector-wide and urban-wide circularity assessment method for the sector of uh, constru construction and biomass for seven cities uh, seven european cities so Roskilde, Hayotostrup, Mikkeli, Bodo, uh, Sevilla, uh, Apeldoorn and Porto. Uh, we will be developing this method in order for these cities to, to, to assess by themselves. So we want to build capacity with these cities um, to, to, to learn how to assess their own sectors and their own cities in order to develop a circular economy strategy. So we're extremely uh, excited about this project. It started in October, so not so long ago. 
We started with three months of literature review. What are the methods that are actually accounting uh, material flows and material stocks? We will be publishing that very soon in our website, but also in the website of the, the projects. Um, and this will last for four years. So you'll see plenty of um, new updates on this topic on urban cir circularity, but also on sector wide circularity. So. Uh, this, this is a great adventure for us and we hope we're going to learn a lot and we're going to also share our experiences with you. On the team side, uh, well, three new members also joined in 2019, so a very warm welcome to them, even if it's been already a year. Guillerme from Lisbon, Carlos from Glasgow and George from uh, Milford in the, in the US. So. We have a, a growing community of, uh, of team members, but also of contributors. A lot of contributors are now contributing to our multiplicity platform, this uh, urban metabolism dashboard. Um, and we have almost 100 contributors um, inputting data, but also helping us on developing uh, new methods and adding publications in our website. So a very big thank you to all. Other than that, in uh, social media in general, we continue to have a, we try to have a, a strong presence to continue to share as many insights, articles and results that we find in the urban metabolism world. Uh, we try to continue also uh, to, to post all of the videos from the seminars on our YouTube channel. Um, so just subscribe there if you want more urban metabolism videos in general. Uh, and also please try to, to you know, give us any of your feedback if you want, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see included in this platform, please tell us and also please contribute and be part of this uh, growing community. Um, for 2020, there are many things that we have in our heads. Um, actually, so many things happened in 2019 that we have big dreams and hopes for 2020. We hope that um, we're going to go to the next phase of uh, multiplicity. So right now it's more of a data harvesting uh, platform. We hope it's going to be a data analysis uh, platform where you're going to see crazy Sankey diagrams and, and more analytical uh, aspects and not just visualization aspects. Um, we are also co-organizing uh, another conference uh, called um, Actionable Science for Urban Sustainability, Ask Us. Uh, together with the International Society of Industrial Ecology. It will be on the 3rd uh, to 5th June uh, 2020. We'll, we are co-organizing this and we try to have a very virtual uh, component to, to this conference. So have a look as well on our website and on the Ask Us conference page. Uh, that's it for now. We, it's already, we're already in the middle of uh, 2020, so uh, we hope we're going to have more regular updates uh, and fill you in with all of the great work we're doing. Thanks so much and uh, see you soon.